I'm walking away with, I think, a sense of appreciation for the magnitude of what I came in knowing to be the last frontier, but being such a smaller place. We did a lot of research ahead of time, but it's different to be here and talking to people about their individual stories. One of the like big problem areas that we've just heard again and again and again is uh, energy, like the cost of energy, the um, you know, greenness of energy. In Huna, it's 63 cents per kilowatt hour, which is absurd. You have an oil-rich state, produces a lot of oil, produces a lot of wind, produces a lot of hydro. But with that oil, they produce the oil here and they send it back to the lower 48 to get refined and then they buy back the diesel, which is the lifeline of this community. These people live in this energy-rich state and they're paying electricity prices that are somewhere on the order of three to six times what we pay in the state. It is their lifeline to food security. It is their lifeline to transport on and off the island. It is their lifeline to heating in the winter. On one level, it's, it's issues of rural America and it's scary for us to be trying to engage in something so, so in a sense generic and not you know, hitting you in the face and yet there's opportunities there. That's a, a big impression for me. The Klingit culture was pretty interesting to me in a way that I realized how open to change they are. Everybody's so open, like you say, I'm a student, can I ask you some questions? And they light up. I think for the students, it's a, an awakening that this is not uh, a theoretical class. It's not a ride on rails. Anything can happen. Uh, just like when you're building a real startup, you have to adapt, you have to pivot, you have to figure it out. I think it's scary. <laughs> I'm a planner. I want to know what's happening in my life. And so I don't, I don't like things being uncertain. <laughs> For me, it's been fascinating to see their evolution. I've seen already so much growth in the students. Like, I don't have after college plans yet. Like, I don't know if I will have after college plans other than this class, depending on how this class goes. I mean, I'm, I'm young, I'm 22, like, why not? Let's go have an adventure. I'm starting to find myself a little bit in the process, which has been empowering, I think. My team is the, the orcas. So we got some little whale tails. One of the jewelers said it would bring us good luck. So all of our team found these. I don't know if we found our project whale yet, per se. It's challenging. At times it's overwhelming to think, how am I gonna make a difference? But, at, but it is an engineering solution. And you know, we're builders, so let's build. Okay, we're going home tomorrow. Don't bring a bear with you. Uh, come on.